When I was a kid, my dad said, Brian, did you know that we actually own all the way out to the middle of the road? I said, what? We own the ditch? Yup. We own part of the road? Yup. Well, does that mean we get to tell who can drive on our road? No, <laughs> nothing like that. And here's the other thing. We have a bunch of expense for taking care of the ditch, even though we don't really get any income off it. So anyway, that was the news my dad told me when I was a kid. So today we're going to talk a little about ditch care in our Farm Basics time. Now, of course, Brian is talking about gravel township roads here, right. not state highways that are paved or anything like that. We don't own any of that, but we do have to take care of the ditches around a lot of our fields. And this is one thing that's really important because it can be a real asset for your farm as well but it's also a responsibility. Well, the only way it's an asset is if you're actually able to go in and bale up that grass because you can't farm into the ditch and you really shouldn't be grazing in the ditch either. So it's basically just baling. And in some cases we have ditches that are too steep or just not set up right. So we can't really even do that. But nevertheless, we've got to control the weeds out there. So that's what we'll really focus on today. One other asset though, Brian, is drainage. And if you've got a ditch that is maintained properly, you do have better drainage around your field than if that ditch gets plugged up with trees or with re uh, garbage or, or even residue from previous grass crops growing out there. Anything that could slow that water flow down could back water up onto your field. So it is important to maintain those ditches. In terms of weed control, we usually are talking about 2,4-D, but the old 2,4-D drifts way too much and volatilizes way too much. So that's where we would talk about Freelex. It's the new 2,4-D that doesn't have all that volatility. You can also use a product like Dicamba Camba if you want to, but again, too much drift and volatility for me. So I would say probably just stick with the Freelex or if you want to go with something that will give you more long-term control, you could use Tordon, Milestone, Chaparral, depending on if you have leafy spurge, thistles, or brush. All right, you've also very many times got a fence line that runs on the edge of that ditch that you've got to be careful about and maintain around that fence too. And farmers say, well, wait a minute, I got weeds in that fence line. Should I just use Roundup and kill everything under the fence line? or should I try and use selective herbicides that just knock out the tough weeds? We used to use Roundup underneath fence lines. I hated that and here's the reason why, because we ended up with more erosion there and then weeds came along. I don't like that at all. I want just grass growing there in my fence lines. And yep, in some cases it means we have to literally go out with a trimmer a couple, three times a year to make stuff look really, really good. Otherwise, we've gotten rid of a lot of the fences on the edges of our fields. So now it's much easier to take care of that what used to to be fence line. One other management tactic that some farmers will use is burning the ditch. Now, if you've got a lot of old grass growth out there or weeds, that type of thing, you could just burn that grass clean. Now you'll get a nice start in the spring with, with fresh grass coming out without all that competition. The other thing you have to watch out for is if you have wood fence posts or wood telephone poles out there, you have to be very careful because they will burn too. So you got to be cautious about that. The other thing that I should mention about the burning is if it's done in the fall, that allows snow to just blow right on through the ditch and across the road and not build up and cover the road. So that's something out on country roads that people will do in the north. Well, once again, especially when we're talking township roads across the United States, farmers have to maintain the ditches. So it's another thing that a farmer has to do besides taking care of the crop. And you don't always, as a farmer, get rewarded for this very well, unless you get a lot of grass out of there. But it is certainly something that has to be done. Well, one thing that has to be done out in your fields is controlling our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 